Hi, I'm Matthew. I run Wide Vision, a welding and machine company out here on the plains of Northwest Kansas. Have you ever tried to remove a bearing from a shaft and there's no way to get a puller behind it? Well, I did just that for a customer this week and they were really surprised by the method I used to remove that bearing. So I thought I'd share it with you. I made a little mock-up here. So let's switch to that and I'll show you how to get a bearing apart when you can't get a puller behind it. I wanted to do this with significantly bigger bearings so you could see what's going on better, but the biggest bearings I had that I felt like I could destroy were one inch ones. But this is the scenario that I had. There's a shaft running through this housing here, flange out here on this side, there's a flange in here, and a pulley on here. And we needed to get this pulley off the shaft is what we were trying to do. You know, typically you just use a drift and drive the shaft out, but it was so rusted on there, there was no way that was going to work. Matter of fact, when I went to take this bearing off the shaft with my press, it took all 20 tons of my press to get that off of there. So that bearing was rusted on there good. Now with this pulley on here, you have to go this way with the shaft to get it out of this housing, right? Well, fortunately, we were able to reach in here and get these nuts off of this flange. So, the shaft could come this way like we needed it to, but we still got to deal with the bearing on the other side, right? So if we can release this bearing, this shaft can slide out the other end of this housing, right? How the heck are we going to do that? Well, the easiest way is to take the bearing apart. But the first thing you want to do is get rid of the seal here. A lot of times you can pop them out with a screwdriver, sometimes not. Need a little better of a hook to get in this smaller one. On bigger bearings, it's no problem to use a screwdriver. Oh, there we go. Got in behind it there on that side. There. So you get that seal out of there. Now you can get the cage out of there. Now there's two styles of cages that I've come across. One is a nice plastic cage like this. If you find one of these in these bearings, it makes life so much easier. This is a complete cage. If you notice, it's not complete on one side, but it is on the other. Hopefully when you get into this bearing, your cage is sitting in there like this. Hopefully. That way you can just pry it out this way right off the balls. Half the time though, when I get into one, I find that it's this way. And it seems like in modern bearings, it's pretty common to find plastic now. Very seldom find metal, like on this one. If you find a metal one, life is a lot more difficult. I actually find it easiest to take a die grinder or sometimes a cut off wheel on an angle grinder will reach in there and cut the cage. It doesn't matter if you hit the races or not, but if you can cut that cage and get it started, life is a lot easier. But these will usually pop apart with a, a screwdriver too or a good hooked implement of some sort, some little pick of some sort. But these rivets in here, they don't really hold the cage in very well together because it's it's a two-part cage this side and then this side and they're just riveted together a lot of times they'll just pop right apart i really wish i had a bigger bearing to show you this a lot better but this little cage right here if you can remove that oh look at that it's even the right way Ah, that is just how you want it to go. Just like that. Pull the cage out. Now you just take all the balls and shove them to one side. There you go. Then push the shaft down. Boop. And all the balls fall right out. Once all the balls are out, your bearing falls right in there and you're able to just pull that shaft right out the other side. And now that the shaft is out of the housing, now you can put something behind what's left of the bearing here and get a hold of that, you know, and push that off or just take a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder and cut there and cut there and just pop it off. I hope you enjoyed that little lesson. Hope you learned something. It's kind of one of those things that once you see or like that is super obvious, but it seems like very few people out there actually know this trick.
So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, y'all.